everyone, it's Ashley here from Math Mania. I'm here to introduce a new multiplication game that will be an awesome activity to play with your students. And especially if you're just starting out, this would be a great game to do teacher versus the students. Um, and once they get more used to it, then they can play along uh, against each other. So this game is called Circles and Stars, and I also like to call it Cookies and Chocolate Chips because I find that my students can visualize that a little bit more. Um, so this is a great way to introduce equal groups of and make it very visual for your students in that understanding. Um, before I move to the game of cookies and chocolate chips with my friend Desmond here, I just wanted to quickly go over some of the vocabulary that are important to um, ensure that your students have an understanding of. So when I have the math sentence here, three times five equals 15, I wanna make sure that they know that the three and five in that sentence, these are the factors. And then of course, that multiplication symbol does mean equal groups of. That's key that you're saying that out loud and that they do have a strong understanding of that. And then of course, this number here circled is the answer, like a lot of the students like to say, but of course in multiplication, we do wanna say that that's the product. All right, without further ado, we're gonna play the game with Desmond. So Desmond's gonna roll the dice to do how many groups and how many chocolate chips he's gonna put on his cookies. Three cookies. Okay, so that's gonna be your three groups. And how many chocolate chips on each cookie? Three. Okay. So that represents the multiplication equation of three times three. Can you please write that on your board for me, Desmond? So, okay, Desmond, can you tell me what you're doing to figure out your equation? So three, three, three would be three cookies times. Right, so it's three equal groups of how many chocolate chips on each cookie? Three. Okay. And what does that equal? Nine. Great job. So now it's Miss Ashley's turn. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna draw five cookies. So that's representing her five equal groups, or her five groups. groups. And then it's gonna have two in each group, two chocolate chips on each cookie. And by putting two chocolate chips on each cookie, she's showing five groups of two, equal groups of two. And can you now write that as a multiplication equation for us? Yeah, so that would be five equal groups of two equals, and I can figure out two, four, six, eight, ten. I just skip counted, and ten is my product. Okay, so now we're done our first round. Whoever has the greatest product is gonna get a point. So let's compare the product. So Desmond, how many did you have? Nine. How many chocolate chips did you have, Ashley? Ten. So who gets the point for the round? Miss Alford. Okay, so Miss Alford is going to just put maybe a little tally on her board or something to keep track, and then you would be able to start round two. Yeah. 